Hi, it's Daphne. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the books I hope to read in November, kind of going into December, let's be honest. <laughs> so, disclaimer. I did not have a good reading month in October. I will maybe do a wrap up. It was like not a very impressive month, but a lot of the books on my TBR did not get read. <laughs> Work has been shitty, but you don't want to hear about me complain. Let's talk about fun books. So, because it's already November, I completely forgot about Book of the Month and the Book of the Month like challenge. I was watching Eliza from Eliza's Bookshelves video and she was talking about how she was trying to complete her challenge. She actually like finished it already and she's doing like the bonus extra difficult challenge, which is amazing. And I was like, oh, Flip. I was supposed to read like one book of the month book a month and I just totally fell off the bandwagon with that. So I need to read seven more books to get the book boss badge, two debuts to finish the de debut darling badge, and I already got the page pusher one. So that's good. So I'm going to go through the book of the month books I have. I have eight. I need to read two for sure because they're debuts and then get to five other ones by the end of the year. So I'm going to add them to my November TBR as like a priority, but I'm going to do some mood reading as well in between because I will not finish anything if I'm only reading physical books that aren't romances necessarily. You know, I'm a romance girly at heart and I love my Kindle. So I got to put some Kindle mood reads in and I'll tell you the books that I'm most interested in right now as well. So let's get started. I know this is kind of a long intro. So the first book I definitely want to read is Peach Blossom Spring. This is one of the debuts I have to get to. This is about a Asian family um, trying to find a place to call home apparently. I don't know that much about it. Looks like it's 1938 and also I think it goes back in time with like the mother and then her daughters like trying to learn about their history and stuff like that. I could be completely wrong. It says it's about war, migration, and the power of telling our stories. That follows three generations of, chi of a Chinese family on their search for a place to call home. There's a little quote here that's like pretty spot on. I like feel this. It says, within every misfortune there is a blessing and within every blessing the seeds of misfortune. And so it goes until the end of time. That's really sad. So this is the next debut I have to read. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this, but I think it might be Keiki, we'll go with that for now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this is an Indian retelling, I believe. It's like a retelling, I believe, with fantasy and gods and maybe mythical creatures and things like that. She is the daughter in this kingdom. She was raised on the tales of gods. She's looking for independence. Uh, it sounds like a almost like a coming of age women's empowerment story. And I just wanna read more cultural books outside of the typical Western European narrative, the Greek Roman narrative. So I'm really interested to learn about this story. Quick, I had this on my October TBR. I didn't read it. It's about some kind of like spooky, weird manner and a model or something. Then I recently picked up this one. This is Lessons in Chemistry. This is like, I think maybe a romance about a woman in STEM, but also like baking and the reviews on it are amazing. So I'm very intrigued and excited to give this a try. And I think it's also a very like women's empowerment feminist book. So excited to see if I love it as much as the rest of the population. A fun one I'm excited to get to is this one, Sign Here. I love this cover. I think it's so charming. This is by Claudia Lux. I picked this up in October for like a spooky read. I just didn't have time to get to it. This sounds hilarious. Um, it says, a darkly humorous, surprisingly poignant, and utterly gripping debut novel about a guy who works in hell, literally, and is on the cusp of a big promotion. If only he can get more members of the wealthy Harrison family to sign their souls. So he's trying to get this family to sign their souls away. So the synopsis says he like works on the fifth floor of hell. None of the pens work. The coffee machine's been out for centuries and the only drink on offer is Jägermeister. So <laughs> it's just like charming and funny. So I'm looking forward to it. It reminds me of my experience when I read Anxious People. Like just the writing style was so fun and the, the narration was like such a big aspect of the storytelling that I have no idea if it's going to be like that, but it just gives that kind of energy. So I'm excited to have a giggle and read this. Oh man. 
So a challenging one I have on here is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. This has also gotten really good reviews. This is like a maybe a romance of like people that have known each other for a really long time since they were kids. They like make a video game, like a successful video game company together. It's a story across a handful of years. Um, and I don't really know that much about it besides that, except that people are loving it. Um, and I should give it a chance. Though I don't typically love stories that span like long periods of time. Um, but I know that Lexi from Lexi's Library really enjoyed this, so I am excited to take this on her recommendation. Okay, <laughs> another book that I put on my October TBR that I did not get to. This book has been on my shelves for way too long, since like 2020. Uh, I picked this up. I don't even know if it's gonna count because it's so old and Eliza was saying that her older Book of the Month books didn't count towards her challenge. So I should prioritize this and read it first to see if it will count. And if it doesn't, I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't, I think this is the oldest one. I don't know. I've got a few old ones on there. So I, I want to read like the older ones first because then I might have to pick up some in December to make sure I hit. Or I could cheat and say that I read it just to test it. But I already skipped November. Oh, anyway, this is like a witchy book about it's like from the practical magic world uh, which is like been made into a movie and stuff i don't know that much about it i think there is a curse on the family when it comes to the women and their love lives i don't know i just want to like give it a try i want to know what the deal is with practical magic and i think this is the first one in chronological order versus in publication order um, that's one of the reasons I hesitated because I like reading things in order and I was like, oh, it's not technically the first one. So I was just like, should I get Practical Magic and read that first and read Publication Order? But I don't even know if I'm going to like it, so I might as well read the one that I have in that order. And then the last book of the month book I have is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Very classic book to book. My mom loved this as well. And I've heard really great things, though some people get annoyed that this author writes minority group lead characters if she's not like in that minority group um that's what i heard i don't really know that much about taylor jenkins reads read i assume she's white and i think the main character in this is latina um but i have no idea so we'll find out there might be some drama on that aspect but this is like a socialite celebrity actress story and her her just speaking to like a reporter about her past and her story and her life story and all the husbands she's had. That's what I understand that this book's about. So we'll find out. Okay, wow. The energy in this video has been high because I am trying to power through and quickly get this out today for you guys. So sorry if I'm speaking really quickly. I do want to now show you the Kindle books I'm interested in reading this month. So I will pop them up as usual. So the one I definitely need to get to is The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw. This is a YA witchy book as well. This is a part of the book club I've joined in my building here in New York. Um, I met a few women the other week and this is the book we selected. Um, I actually went out with the book club creator, Monica, the other day and I had a great time. So it's working out. I wanted to meet people and it's working. So this is the book we picked. I usually don't read YA. Ooh, okay, so it says these three sisters were witches and they seem to be drowned to death by the townsmen and now every summer they return and steal the bodies of other girls for revenge luring boys into the harbor and pulling them under. Wow, that is pretty dark. <laughs> I had no idea what this was about when I uh, agreed to read it, but I just knew it was witchy. Anyway, so wish me luck on that. And then I also am interested in reading Heartless by I think Elsie Silvers. This is on Kindle Unlimited. This is the second book in a Canadian small town type of romance. I enjoyed the first one. There was a lot of hype on it in romance booktube, especially from like Peace Love Books, uh, AKA Jess, um, The Love Librarian, AKA Caitlin, and their friend group. But I am intrigued by the second one, especially because it's like age gap, grumpy hero, single dad, and the guy just seems so grumpy, but like I just want him to have love. So it does seem really, really cute. 
Um, and then Caitlin has also been really hyping Funny Feeling, which I'm intrigued about. This is between like comedians and I've never read a romance about comedians. So I am intrigued. The cover art is pretty cool. It's different than anything I've seen before. So very intrigued. And then also they've been hyping up The Word. Uh, I am interested in that, but it's a longer one, so it's not on my priority, but maybe I'll pick it up if I'm really in the mood. Sorry, I'm not looking at you like at all. <laughs> um, and yeah, I honestly think that's enough to put on my list. Um, I might read Heart Recaptured. That's like the second book in this really dark motorcycle cult. It's not a motorcycle cult, but motorcycle and cult story, but it's like dark, so I don't know if I'm like, necessarily in the mood for that but i do want to get to the third one but the second one i'm just not as interested in because the main girl seems really brainwashed and like upset that she's not in the cult anymore so that seems kind of toxic <laughs> but the third one i've heard really great things um because the main guy in that he's like really damaged and like he does a lot of like self-harm stuff which is sad but i just want him to be I just want him to like heal too. So I, I'm really intrigued by that story. So I have to get through the second one to get to the third one because they all seem to kind of tie together loosely. So those are the Kindle books I'm interested in reading. We'll see what actually gets read, but these book of the month books here in front of me definitely need to get read if I want to complete the challenge. Also, if you have book of the month, just know you can't wait till the very last day of December to log that you finished the book. I did that last year and they didn't count it. I had to like call customer support and be like, hey, I did finish it on time. You just did your cutoff like a couple days before and I was unaware. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure you at least mark that you finished the books a few days before the end of the year so you can get like your bonus gift. The first year I did it, they gave out candles and then last year they gave out cute little bookish socks. So I'm intrigued to see what they give out this year, but I have to earn it <laughs> by reading these books. Though technically I did earn it because I bought all these books. There's that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye.